waking up soon. And then maybe finally we can figure out who you really are. And with any luck, you can tell me your name and we'll be able to reunite you with your family. Monica, what are you doing here? Well, I came to, uh, to see our mystery patient. So this is the John Doe. This is him. I was here when they, they brought him in, so I, I just promised him that I would be here when he woke up. Ah, so that explains why you're here on your day off. Dr. Frankel is easing him off sedation, so he should be waking up in the next few hours. I just wanted to keep my promise. Hi, 36 hours of surgery. Facial reconstruction, internal injuries. Broken bones, he's very lucky he survived. Mm -hmm. Hopefully when he wakes up, he can tell us who he is. Mm. Uh, Dr. Franklin wanted me to look him over after that spike in his vitals earlier. Why, I thought that was a good sign. Well, I think it's probably just a precaution. If he is waking up, we need to see what kind of shape his heart's in. The sinus rhythm is extremely strong. I think that spike earlier was an anomaly. So his heart wasn't damaged in the accident? I didn't detect any damage when I examined him, and the scans seem to agree with me. So, whatever this man has been through, at least his heart is in good shape. Wish I could say the same. Sorry, I totally shouldn't have said that. My issues are not your concern. Don't be silly. I mean, with all you've meant to me, my family, if you want to talk, I'm certainly happy to listen. Well, thank you. Really nothing serious. Oh, excuse me, but this is from a woman who was envious of a man in a coma. <laughs> I'm just a little lost in the romance department. Nicholas and I finally let go of our long and difficult romance. Rick is gone, Adri is gone. How are you doing with that? Oh, I miss him every day. You know, after years of keeping his survival a secret, I finally get him home only to lose him again. At least you got that time with him. It's not often we get that kind of second chance with someone. Monica, I've been wanting to tell you that I'm really sorry for the way things ended between me and AJ, I'm sure you feel like I abandoned him. AJ was accused of doing something horrible. And he really couldn't say he was innocent because he was blind drunk the night that Connie was murdered. I don't blame you for pulling away. I would have done the same thing had I been you. Still, I can't really believe that AJ did shoot Connie. Ultimately, I don't think that's what broke us up. Was it the alcoholism? Partially. I just think we got together for all the wrong reasons. She did love you, Elizabeth. I'm, I don't know if we were in love or we both just needed redemption. What do you need redeeming for? <sighs> for what I did to Lucky and to Jason. Who's Sam's baby? Uh, little Danny was alive. And God help me, I lied to Jason about it. Yes, but then you did the right thing and you turned it around. Yeah, but I still gave in to that first bad impulse. I waited to tell what I knew because I knew it would bring Jason and Sam back together. Jason and I were really close. We had been through so much together throughout our lives and I just felt like we never got our moment, you know? And now he's gone. And... Okay. Elizabeth. Hey, Nancy. You've been sitting with this patient for hours, and it's not even your shift. Maybe you should go home and get some rest. I just, I told him I'd be here when he woke up. But he hasn't, so maybe he's not ready. You should have at least get up Stretch your legs, maybe grab some water. You'll feel better. Thanks, I will. Okay. I'll be right back.
on the next General Hospital. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? We need to be here when this goes down. Sam and I are no longer together. Can you tell me your name? Okay, you need to calm down, Franco. I think it's time we let this out in the open.